I have met a bunch of people who say that creating a one pager with WordPress is a tough job. In this video I'm gonna show you that actually it's not as hard as you think. It's gonna take 10 minutes or less to create a site like this. That is, if you click on the links, they will scroll to the relevant sections. You can customize it as you like and setting this up is a breeze. So let's dive in and let's create a site. First thing we need to do is that we need to install a good WordPress team. And the team I'm gonna use in this video is called Bloxy, which has been my go-to team for the last three years. As you see, currently it has more than 200,000 active installations. And if you scroll down, you'll see that it has a whopping 833 five-star reviews. And if you take a look at the reviews, then you'll see that most of these praise the support and talk about awesome features. The team also has a pro version in this video, I'm gonna use the free version, but if you're interested of the pro version, then take a look at the description of this video because there's a nice 10% discount coupon for you. Just follow the link, use a coupon and you're good to go. But at the moment, I'm gonna go to the appearance, teams. I'm gonna click add new team. I'm gonna search for Bloxy, this one here. I'm gonna install it and now I'm gonna activate it. After that, you'll see that it says that we need to install a Bloxy companion plugin. Let's do that. It's installed and activated and now you'll see there is a Bloxy menu on the left. You'll see there is a home, starter sites, extensions, useful plugins and changelog. I'm not gonna go through all the extensions and stuff because I have made a bunch of videos about Bloxy team. Instead I'm gonna show you that there are starter sites you can use. So I'm gonna find a free starter template and I need one that has a transparent background. So let's take a look at this catering template. Looks okay. I also like the typography. So I'm gonna import this one here. I'm not gonna import a child team. So let's click next. I'm gonna use Gutenberg as a page builder. I'm not gonna install stackable or WP forms because I'm not gonna import content. I'm gonna import just the team settings. So next, now I can choose what to import. Options, yes. Widgets, no. I'm not gonna use any widgets. Content, no and clean install. I already have a clean site, so I'm not gonna do that. Just the options. So install, it's gonna take only five seconds or so, and it's done. So let's view site. You'll see that currently there is nothing can be found because there is no information here. But don't worry, we're gonna create content in a minute. But before I do that, I have a small announcement, and that is, Today's video is brought to you by Breakdance, the modern visual website builder for WordPress. It's easy for beginners to learn and powerful enough for the most advanced professionals. Breakdance is loaded with features, including a premium pre-made template library, a robust form builder, AI content writing capabilities, a versatile pop-up builder, and seamless WooCommerce integration. Whether you're just starting your WordPress journey, or you're a seasoned pro looking for a better builder for your agency. Now is the perfect time to build better websites with Breakdance. Try it today and experience the Breakdance difference. Now, next we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the plugins, add new plugin, search for Spectra, this one here. Spectra WordPress Gothenburg blocks. You'll see that it has more than 1 million active installations. It's a companion plugin for the Gothenburg, so I need this for my site. I'm gonna activate it. You can take out all the blocks here. There are free blocks and premium blocks. You can deactivate the ones you don't like. At the moment, I'm gonna leave it as it is. Under the settings, there is a default content width. I'm gonna go to the appearance and customize. I'm gonna take a look at the general and layout and I'll see that maximum site width is 1290 pixels. So I'm gonna set this here. I'm gonna inherit the button colors from the team. Under the editor enhancement, I'll verify that the quick action bar is activated. Nothing else to configure here, so I'm gonna go to the pages, add new page, give it the title, for example, my one pager. Next, I'm gonna go to the full screen mode, and you'll see this here is a quick action bar. It comes from the Spectra. I can add my own shortcuts to the action bar, just click on the plus icon, search for the block, and add it over there. If I don't need it, then I'm gonna delete it. Info box, buttons, icon, I don't need icons. Image, heading, 
container, let's search for a gallery, and let's add it here. Easy peasy. If I need to rearrange those, I'm going to click here and just drag and drop. Okay, now I'm going to open up a design library. Now, there are two ways for me to proceed. First, I can take a look at the patterns, for example, hero. I can add any patterns I like, just insert it. It's here. I'm going to delete the empty block and done. The other way I can proceed is that I can open up the kits and let's take a look at this kit here. Well, looks good. You'll see there is a home page, about page and contact page. Although it has a shop, I don't have any shop. Nevertheless, looks good. I'm going to insert the template. Now I'm going to click on this heading, open up the style, choose the color, for example, white. Next I'm going to open up prefix, color white and typography 56 pixels, a bit too big, 54 is better, although now I like the yellow color more, so let's make it yellow. Just a quick overview how to do that with a couple of clicks. If I need to change the logos, I can do that. If I would like to rearrange something here, just drag and drop. As always, I'm going to leave it as it is. I don't have any featured product, so I'm going to delete this part. Instead, I'm going to add here a pattern. So I'm going to go to the design library. I'm going to open up services. Nope. Instead, services list. Yes, this one here. Okay. I'm going to add this one and it's here. If I need to tweak the buttons, I can do it here. Although I don't need the buttons, so I'm going to delete those one by one. Now I can customize the text and done. Let's add another block here. This time it's contact details. Let's see which one I like the most. This one here. Let's add it. Done. Now I'm going to select the container, go to the styles, select background color. I'm going to make it a bit darker. So F9, F9, F9. Let's publish it. Let's preview it. And it's here. Now a couple of things I need to fix. First, page title. Before I proceed with the video, don't forget to smash that like button down below here. It means a lot to me and it also helps my channel. So I would appreciate your help. I'm going to open up the Bloxy menu here. Under the page title, I'm going to set it to disabled. Now I'm going to scroll down and content area vertical padding is only bottom. Although I'm going to set it to disabled. Let's save it. Let's refresh it. And done. Let's see what happens here. Yes. I'm going to get rid of the footer later and I'm going to customize the header. A couple of things I need to do is first this part here. I'm going to select this container here, open up block settings, advanced, once again advanced and HTML anchor is sale. Later I'm going to add this to the menu. Next I'm going to select this heading that is info box. I'm going to go to the advanced HTML anchor. I'm going to add an anchor called services. Scroll down, select contact container and anchor is contact. Although let's add a gallery also here. I'm going to add before a gallery, select images. I'm going to add six random images from my computer. Create a new gallery, insert gallery. Type is whether it's a grid, masonry, carousel or tiled. I'm going to set it to grid. Set the image columns. I'm going to set it to four. And it seems to me that there are two images that are not good for this gallery. So edit gallery. I'm going to delete this one here and this one. Let's delete also those two. And let's add some other images. Yes. Okay. Now it's six images. Click event lightbox. I'm going to disable captions. Now let's save it. Let's preview it. There's my gallery. Awesome. 
Okay, so since I have a gallery block opened under the advanced, I'm gonna set the anchor to gallery. Let's save it. Let's go to the appearance and menus. Under the main menu, I'm gonna delete this one here. I'm gonna add custom links. First is sale, link text is sale. Next one is services, text is services. Third one is gallery and link text is also gallery. Last one to go and this time it's a contact and link text is also contact. Add to menu, save it. Next I'm gonna go to the settings, reading and home page is my one pager. Let's save it, let's refresh it. Now my home page displays this one here. Next I'm gonna go to the appearance and customize. Open up header, menu and select menu is main menu here. Those are my menus. Publish, go back, click headers, global header, sticky functionality is already activated. Transparent functionality is all activated. Now let's edit conditions. I'm gonna delete all the conditions from here and include entire website. Save conditions. Now you'll see this is my transparent header. Let's publish it. Now I'm gonna refresh here. Let's test the links. Sale, services, and contact also works. Okay, back to the customizer. I'm gonna open up the footer. I'm gonna delete all the widget areas. And I'm gonna delete the copyright area. Publish, refresh, done. Now a couple of things for me to do. First, I'm gonna open up the header. I'm gonna click on the button. Let's change the text. Get in touch. Link URL is contact. So it, it's gonna scroll to the contact form. Under the design, I'm gonna set the transparent colors to yellow. That is three Fs and three zeros. Get in touch. Let's publish it. And last thing I need to do is I'm gonna change the logo. As you see, it's not visible here. I'm gonna upload a new logo and I'm gonna add two versions. I'm gonna add the dark version and the light version. Light version goes for the transparent header. Let's do that, make it a bit bigger. Now, if I scroll down, there is a sticky state. I'm gonna add a dark logo and default logo is also the dark one. Awesome. I'm gonna change the menu design. I'm gonna capitalize the text, change the color. I like white a bit more. Yes, let's publish it. Let's refresh it and done. Although one last thing, I'm gonna edit the page, open up this image here style, scroll down. There is an overlay type. I'm gonna make the overlay a bit darker. So I'm gonna choose black and add a bit opacity. Save it, preview it and done. Now let's test whether the button works. Yes, it works, awesome. Now, as you saw, creating a one pager is really simple. You just need to have a good team that allows you to do that. Other than that, you can use any page builder you like. For example, Breakdance that I mentioned in the beginning of this video and you're good to go. Now, I have made a bunch of videos about the Bloxy team. Last one I made was about the top nine new features they released this year. This video is on the screen right now, so be sure to take a look at it next. In the meantime, take care.